What is going on guys? Welcome back to the episode. If y'all can see behind us, we're at our small little river right here. This is a secret spot I have where there is a ton of bowfin and gar. I got my buddy Zave out here with me today. You have never, up, caught a, you never caught a bowfin or a gar? Nope, nope. Never caught one. <coughs> What's your goal today? Would you rather catch a gar or a bowfin? I'd probably honestly rather catch a gar. A gar? Just because they seem more interesting to me. They seem a little more predator-like. Y'all see my videos, gar, the hardest ones to hook. And because there was flooding here, I guess these fish have traveled normally that pocket holds more gar this holds more bowfin but what we're seeing behind us there's a ton of gar in here so we're probably gonna get a lot of, yeah we're gonna get a lot of gar bites today but we're, i'm going for both and i love the species so much but i love gar too so if you want to catch a gar man we'll try to get you on one that is the goal today we're gonna get zave on his first bowfin or gar are you excited to do this man i'm excited man i'm gonna i'll be happy to catch anything dude to yeah. be honest I'm gonna show you all the tips and techniques how we're gonna catch these fish, the gear, hooks, everything. Let's get started. For today's bait, guys, we're using bluegill. I caught these about two days ago. They just filled them up with water so they can thaw out. For gear today, Zay's been using a spinning rod. It says 14 pound mono on it. I want him to actually fight the fish. That's why I want him to use spinning gear. I'm gonna be throwing the old bait cast that says 20 pound mono because I'm I want to go for a bigger gar. If I can spot one, I'm gonna try to get one. I want him to catch any of them though. I want him to kind of start small, hopefully, and then he can work his way up. We're using size two hooks, they're a little bit beefier this time, so I told Zave. He got to set the hook hard. I got to set the hook hard. You guys know the way these fish are. Whole entire mouth, so there's teeth and bones. So. so it's gonna be pretty hard to penetrate these fish today, but we're gonna give it all we got. Letting this bait thaw out. I'm ready to get to fishing. All right, y'all, so we're gonna take a bluegill out right here. I have four of them. That's gonna be plenty for these fish today. I'm gonna show y'all a good size for what you wanna try to cut these fish up for. The only one I'm going for both in and gar, both in they have a bigger mouth, so you can actually use a bigger chunk of meat. But because I'm seeing a lot of gar in this body of water today, we might actually try to target those. We're just gonna chop up pieces. I know the bowfin and gar can eat together. The tail isn't always an amazing piece. It's my favorite always. There's no bones in it, so they don't feel it when they're chomping on it. All right, guys, so we're almost ready to start fishing. We're gonna bait up right now. A good placement when you're using this tail, I always just like for any pieces. Barely hook them right in the back. Make sure there's no scales. See how that scale is kind of grabbing my hook pop that off that will stop it from penetrating after our setup i know we have a leader but because we have some more gar in the area today they're going to be a little bit picky so I'm just tying it straight to the hook just a little chunk of bluegill i'm ready to catch some fish all right y'all so i just saw a pretty big gar come up right there we're going to drop the bait right in front of them anytime you see these fish come up for air it's a great time to try to approach them normally about every 10 to 15 minutes the gar in both and will come up for air they'll go quiet for a little bit and then they'll come up a good tactic like a yo-yo this bait normally the current's flowing in here but it's not today so i normally just cast out and just pick it up and actually should let the current flow the bait down but because it's steady today we're gonna have to do that oh, i got one already he's eating it like i was just saying guys so as i'm picking up the bait they normally just see it and they'll come up and just smack it like this guy just did i don't know if it's gar or bow in it i didn't feel the thump so i think it's a gar these fish are so smart so i just want to see how they're eating it today he still has it in his mouth i'm gonna set the hook fast on this one like i said sometimes they eat it fast sometimes they eat it slow it really just depends on how they're eating today i just grabbed it yeah, man, just to see how mine's running, just let them do their thing. Mine's hauling tail now. He's going to a snag. He's going right to a snag. I'm going to have to set mine. I got him. Yeah, he was running for a minute. Come on, baby, stay hooked. We got a gar. I'm going to try to flip him up. Oh, it's bigger to flip. I can't flip him. <laughs> I can't flip that fish. He's barely hooked, too. Say, if you can't grab the neck, you got one, too. I'm going to have to flip it. I'm going to try it. It's pulling drag. And he's up. That is the first gar. All right, y'all. He's going to go for the set. Get him. Got him? You still got him? I did, I did. <laughs> Get him, dude. I'll grab the net for you, man. He's hooked up. This hook set was pretty ugly, but he got the fish. I didn't know he still had him on. Tighten the drag up a little bit. I'm gonna jump down here. Try to bring him my way. And he's up. Yeah. It's too gar, man. Yes, sir. Right there. Yeah, it's a great start. Y'all, we're gonna fish these fish. Make sure you have pliers. This guy's not even hooked. The hook is actually just wrapped around his mouth. Y'all can see right here, the hook's actually in this gar's mouth. He's not even hooked, he's just not opening. All right, guys, that is my first gar. I didn't even hook him, he was just holding on to the hook. I actually bent it trying to get it out. That is a beautiful fish. We're throwing back in the water and let's deal with Zaves. Oh, okay. He just cut my hand. Thank you for the fight, dude. Damn, he just slipped my hand open. All right, guys, this is my first gar ever. Cool looking fish, man. He's like, what is he, a nice size one? Little well, that's one? a good size, man. It's a good size one. Foot and a half. He's a fun little fight, too. 
You didn't know you, you set the hook a little awkward. Oh, I, I just I figured I had to do it hard. <laughs> I didn't want to lose them. All right, let's throw them back in the water. Just going back for the release. She gone. Look at that, guys. It hurts. All right, guys, so that guard absolutely destroyed my hook, bent it all to hell, and that fish cut me in the hand. So far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. Anytime you guys are going to target these fish, always retie if you don't lose your hook or if he bends it because most of the time they're going to swallow it and they're just going to fray the line and like mine, he just destroyed the hook. So make sure you retie. That's what's left of my hook. Dude, broken in half. I grab us a new piece of bait. These little chunks, guys, you don't need much for these gar. They're just super hungry and willing to eat anything. So we're gonna send her back out. Let's get number two. Now there's ways to target both in in here, but like I said, there's never this many guard in this one pocket. So this is a rare little opportunity. Zave and I just caught one back to back. So they're eating good in here today. You got one? I got one too. So one's taking mine and one's taking Zave's. Did you see the one that took it or did you just, it was on the bottom? Yeah, I didn't see mine either. We're gonna cross lines. Yours is heading my way. Here it goes. All right, we're gonna cross them. I'm gonna go ahead and set mine. I got him. I got him. Oh, we're crossed still. Oh yeah, we are. This is a mess. We off? Let's go ahead and pull mine out. See if we can get it untangled. No, he dropped it. Yeah. Save losses. All right, guys, we got him unwrapped. That is my guard right there. He's bleeding, so I'm gonna get him back in the water fast. Pretty little fish. Okay, y'all need to quit doing that. He's gone. You feel comfortable, man. Give it to him. You still got it? Give it to him. Got him? Oh, you got a bow fin, dude. <laughs> Say so he's got his first. Oh, yeah. Say so he's got his first bow fin. I'll let him for you, man. That's a little guy, though. Super tiny. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. He's in the net. Yeah, dude, this is like a one and a half, two pound bow fin. I've caught 12s out of here. Pretty little fish, though, man. I need my bait. He's a pretty fish. Oh, super pretty. There we go. First bowfin. First species, two new species in the one day, huh? Yeah, dude. That's pretty fast when you've caught in two, to what, two gar? Yeah, both these things are cool looking fish, too. Oh, dude, they're awesome, man. This thing more look like an eel almost. Yeah. That's cool fish. Throwing right. back. Throwing her back. Going for the release. There she goes. This sucks, guys. So I've had this spot to fish here for probably at least a year now and i knocked on doors and worked my butt off to get permission here and i guess people just abused this spot and the owners had to run a lot of people off so he came out here and we caught those two gar and told us that he's putting up trespassing signs and he actually has them up now and he's not letting me no longer fish here which really sucks because i love this spot i mean i've cleaned up i've worked my butt off to have permission to be here thanks to people they've now ruined it and i've lost my spot he told us we've had the three to fish and it's around three now, so not looking too good. All right, y'all, so like I said, we just got ran off of that spot. Three o'clock hit super fast. So we're at another spot right now. It's not anywhere near where we were just fishing. This is the spot where I actually caught my big six foot gar, but it's, we're on a very, very small drain where there's not much room to fish. So if we land a fish, we gotta walk on someone's property and they're gonna come out. We're just gonna see what we can do. Alright guys, this is my third species of the day. Nice little catfish. Threw it over there and he did not bite like a gar, so I figured I'd set the hook on him. Here he is. Ugly, ugly little cat. Ugly little dude. <laughs> right I'm off going, bud. Bye, bud. Didn't take very long. It's not a gar or a bowfin, but we'll take any fish. <laughs> Dave is on fire, guys. All right. This is the second gar of the day for me. Yep. Three species, two gar. They look mean. They are pretty. Throw them back. Here we go.
All right, guys, just caught this beautiful gora right here. This might be my third or fourth, and I'm not too sure. Like I said, the bite is being super picky right now, so we're trying different tactics, but that is a beautiful gora, and look at all of those teeth. So back in the water.